Hi, my name is Bruce Hood. Um, I'm from Osaka, Hollywood, and I'm going to be showing you how to make the perfect Pisco Sour. First, what we want to do is we're going to ice the glass. That way we uh, ensure, like it, most of you have had martinis, you want a nice chilled cocktail glass because there's not going to be ice in this drink. Um, secondly, while that's chilling, the first thing I would like to do is uh, everyone knows there's egg in a Pisco Sour, or if you don't know, you're learning that now for the first time, right? <laughs> Um, you use the whole egg or just egg we white? We use just the egg white. Now, what I like to do, what the reason why I like to do the egg first is, and that's what you do, just the egg white, and you can get it out of there like that. And then that's gonna go get used to make custards or something, right, though, the yolk? Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, but also, if you, uh, for any reason, drop your yolk in there and it doesn't burst, you can use your bar spoon to get it out. So always do the egg white first. Okay. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands there. Okay, in addition to egg white, we are going to use simple syrup. Now this isn't quite the simple syrup one-to-one -one that we use here in the USA, um, mostly. What, what this is here is uh, it's more like a two-to-one. It's, uh, it's got a little more viscosity and it adds to the uh, consistency of the cocktail. We're going to add one ounce of our simple syrup. It's two-to-one. And we use key lime martini, uh, key lime uh, juice. Juice, right? Uh, the reason why is because in Peru, they actually don't have lemons and limes like we have here in the U.S. And the closest thing to replicate that with the Brooks level is a key lime juice, key lime. Period. Okay. Um, now we use pisco. We're going to use achillado. There are different forms and grades of pisco. Um, one not being better than the other, just different types. Achillado is the most popular in Peru. Um, it, it's a mix of a bunch of different grapes and it, it produces a very nice clean flavor. Okay. Um, and if, if you tasted pisco by itself, what would it taste like? Is it like a brandy or is it like a vodka or is it like a rum? I mean, it really has its own flavor profile, yeah. seriously. Okay. Um, reminiscent of a, a tequila, subtle, subtle qualities of one, um, very much a brandy okay. uh, by definition. And it's, I mean, it's Okay. Something like you've never had before. Okay, so how much do you, do you piece go to add? To this cocktail, we are going to put three ounces. All right. And three most, ounces. That's right. Okay. Most people will be very happy about that here in the U.S. We don't usually do uh, <laughs> drinks that heavy except for uh, martinis. So. Okay. All right, so okay. I got... Egg white, key lime juice, simple syrup, three ounces of pisco. That's right. Okay, and then I'm going to add ice. And it's very important that you don't add too much ice because then that can dilute the the uh, consistency of your cocktail. Okay. I know a lot of places do a dry shake. It's great to do a dry shake in uh, the heat of the battle. As a bartender though, and you're making many, many Pisco Sours in a moment. Um, if you just shake it right with the right amount of ice, you get the perfect uh, foam and also uh, you save a lot of time. Okay, Boston Shaker here, cool. here we go. Always right. Boston Shaker. Yeah. That's an awfully vigorous shake. All right. How do you know when you've shaken it enough, by the way? About 15 seconds 15 is seconds. appropriate. Okay. Yeah. So, um, right. what do you I mean? have lost my, here we go. Hawthorne strainer. All right. And that's really it? Is there a garnish or no? There is a garnish. Oh, I bet they're bitters, right? That's right. Uh-huh. I know something about Pisco Sours. <laughs> yeah, all right. What kind of bitters? We're gonna use Angostura bitters. Okay. And it's just one drop. One. One drop. Perfect. And that's your Pisco Sour? That's a Pisco Sour, the perfect Pisco Sour. Thank you very much.